Welcome to Kingdom Come Now broadcast, brought to you by Kingdom Apostolic Ministries International. We are an apostolic, prayer, healing, deliverance, and prophetic global ministry, and our overseers are Apostle and Prophets Dr. Kilafo Z. Kali, M.D., and Shalewa Kali. Our ministry is built on the apostolic and prophetic model, and the foundation of our ministry is Jesus Christ and His Kingdom. Located in Freeport, Grand Bahama, Bahamas, the ministry celebrates 10 years of dedicated service. Parenthetically, our leaders also oversee Kingdom Apostolic Global Networks and have commissioned over 800 apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, and evangelists in over 30 nations, including South, East, and West Africa, Asia, USA, Bahamas, and the Caribbean. Visit us at www.kamgbahamas.com. We are located at Nios Grace Center, West Atlantic Drive, Freeport, Bahamas. Let's go straight into the broadcast. Welcome to another Kingdom broadcast brought to you by Kingdom Apostolic Ministries International and Apostle Dr. Kilafo Z. Kali and yours truly, Prophet Shalee Wakali. It is truly a pleasure to have you join us today and fellowship with us, taking this time out of your busy schedule to hear what the Lord has imparted upon us uh, for you today. We just want to bless God for you, and we just want to say our ministry now is talking about the foundation. This series is about the, the foundation of the kingdom. Amen. We not only want to teach the kingdom, but we want to stir up that gift in within you. We want to stir up that passion within you for you to have a personal relationship with Christ. It is not about impressing this one and that one or looking and uh, criticizing what this one does from what that one does. It's not about that anymore. It's about having a personal relationship with Christ for yourself. So we, we thank you once again for joining us and we ask you to stay tuned and to be blessed in Jesus' name. The kingdom of heaven is Jesus is king of it. So whenever you say that, you're saying Jesus come and rule and reign and take authority. Do whatever you want to do. As it is in heaven, let worship be there. Let angels be there. Oh, hallelujah. When you pray for angels, guess what? You don't need to pray for angels to move. All you got to do is say, Lord, let come establish your throne in a place. And wherever he establishes his throne, the elders come. The angels come. His throne come. His rulership come. Hallelujah. His worship comes. His glory come. And wherever he comes, no cancer can stay. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Are you with me? When you go to the hospital to pray, say, Lord, let your kingdom and rule and throne be over this person. Hallelujah. And if they accept that, no cancer can stay in the body. No tuberculosis, no pneumonia, or no heart condition can stay. Do you believe it? Yes. Amen. Yes. Wherever you ask the kingdom of heaven to come, hallelujah. I'm helping you to pray today. Amen. You and I are not going to pray wrong anymore. Jesus said, we have not because we ask not. If we ask, we ask amiss. Hallelujah. We got to start praying for the kingdom invade places. You go into your school. Hallelujah. Young people of college and you see promiscuous fornication and immorality. Alternative lifestyles and drugs. You don't get mad and join that. You say, Lord, every day, all throughout the day, let your kingdom of heaven invade this place. You declare it, Lord, let your throne be established over this campus. Lord, let your kingdom be established over this college. Lord, let your uh, kingdom be established. I've done it. Huh? I said, this neighborhood, Lord, let your kingdom be established huh, over this place. Huh? When I was uh, in the hospital every day, I said, Lord, let your kingdom rule over this hospital. And I saw miracles. Huh? And my neighbor, I said, Lord, let your kingdom be over this neighborhood every day. Huh? Hallelujah. I sent ministers out in their areas huh, to say, Lord, from this area, to that area, they marked it out, their territory. And when they said, Lord, let your kingdom and your power, there was no crime. There was no break-ins. Hallelujah. I had a police officer minister lay hands and release him. I said, now from this area all the way to the west is yours. 
Hallelujah. Do you know for that year or two, there was no crime, no breaking. Um, the people were surprised. Uh, why? Because we took over the territory. Uh, I'm doing it back again for this nation. Uh, hallelujah. We got to declare it. And I ask you to do it. Listening audience. Uh, listening and uh, watching. Uh, don't pray about all your needs. Uh, don't pray about the things you want only. Uh, Jesus said, when you pray, Lord, in Matthew 6, say, Lord, let your kingdom of heaven come into the earth. Uh, let it invade the earth. Uh, let us heaven is filled with worship and the power and the presence of God. Let it be in every area you want it to. Yes. Show glory. Let me tell you what else is happening in heaven. When Jesus said, let the kingdom, or let the kingdom come. The will of God be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Let's see what else is happening in heaven. Are you with me? I'm giving you a glimpse of heaven. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, heaven is so beautiful. Oh, you don't have to imagine it. It's right here in Revelation. Don't let the devil deceive you with movies and false stuff out of books. You don't need... Hallelujah. I thank God for those who had near that experience and went to heaven and came back. But the most accurate description of heaven is right in your hands in the Holy Bible in the book of Revelation. You don't need to buy a book on someone who went to heaven to tell you what's in heaven. It's right here. Mm -hmm. And if they have this, anything written in there that's not in here, I, I don't want it. <sighs> Revelations 4 and 5. I'm almost there. Are you with me? Amen. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunders and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. I could teach on that all day, but let me give you just a glimpse of that. In heaven and there, uh, out of the throne of God, is lightning and thunder and voices. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is beautiful, but it's also terrible and, 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 and overwhelming. Hallelujah. That's why when man of God in history, one time Moses uh, went up to be in the presence of the Lord. Abraham uh, went before the presence and there was fire and he took off his shoes and he was terrified. Uh, hallelujah. Men and women of God. Uh, hallelujah. As angels appeared to them, they had to say, fear not uh, because it's scary. Uh, uh, the children of Israel, uh, when God spoke to Moses on Mount uh, Hallelujah, the mountain top. They were frightened. Uh, oh God, because they heard the thunder and lightning. Why? Because God stepped down from heaven on that mountain top, uh, and wherever He stepped down, heaven came, uh, and they heard the same thing: lightning and thunder, and it frightened them. Uh, and so God had to tell Moses, "Don't worry. Uh, you tell the children of Israel, stay back. I can talk to you. Come up here in the mountain." Uh, and Moses went up there for forty days and forty nights. One time in the presence of God and when he came down he was like light bolts huh? because he was in the presence of God he was in the heavenlies huh? he was glowing he was so shiny they had to put a claw over his face huh? hallelujah so that the glory that he was involved in huh? being in the presence of the Lord hallelujah and there was so much glory Jesus said, when you pray, ask for the glory of God to be in the earth. Just like how it is when Moses experienced it. When you go in your prayer closet, ask the glory of God to descend. Amen. Hallelujah. My God, so it be on you and you come out sparkling. Oh, yes. Mama, Masha. Ask the Lord when you go into the house of God where you worship, that church, that ministry, uh, that home, wherever you go in the uh, place of worship, that the glory shines so bright uh, because you had an encounter and heaven came down, uh, touched down on earth, uh, touched down in your sanctuary. Yes. My God, uh, my God, if glory used to come down, people who were crackheads would get saved immediately. Uh, prostitutes and gang violence, uh, hallelujah, uh, racists. Uh, Nazis, uh, haters of people, criminals, uh, oh God, terrorists would bow down in the presence of uh, Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus, uh, hallelujah, atheists, agnostics, uh, wow, Satanists uh, would bow in the presence of the glory of God uh, because it would knock them down. Uh, I would amaze them, it would be well to them, uh, hallelujah, the supernatural God. Yes. Out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunders and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire. Say fire. fire. You prayed it this morning, prophetess. In heaven there is glorious fire. 
Our God is a consuming fire. He is a God of fire. Oh God, he's a purging God. Fire purges. Fire consumes. Fire purifies. Fire devours. But fire also makes new. Oh, he's a God of fire. Do you want the fire of God? Yes. Do you want that fire to burn anything that's not like him out of you and I? Yes. Do you want his fire to fill your house? Do you want his Holy Ghost fire to fill your city? Do you want his fire to fill your nation? Do you want his fire of revival to sweep around the world? You want to pray, Lord, let it come. Yes, Lord, let Amen. it come. Jesus. Fire of God. The lightning and thundering of God. Hallelujah. The spirits of God. Do you want the seven spirits of God? Amen. Oh my God. We can teach on that another time. But he said, let the seven spirits of God. I want us to pray that. Say, Lord, Lord let the seven spirits, let the seven spirits of, God of God be loose in my life now. Be loose in my life. Come on, everybody listening and watching. I don't know what's going to happen when you say that, but I feel yeah, yeah. the kingdom of heaven is going to come to you. I never prayed that before. This is a new revelation this morning. Hallelujah. Fresh and new for us this morning. Say, Lord, let the seven spirits. Come on, say it. Lord, Lord let the seven spirits the seven of the Lord. Ah, the burning fire of the Lord the fire on the Lord. seven lampsticks. Let it come into my life. We will receive him, receive him. Seven spirits of the Lord come into this place. Seven spirits of the Lord come into my home. Seven spirits of the Lord come into the city. Seven spirits of the Lord come into the business I own. Come into my family. Come into my home, my business, my property, my possession. Seven spirits, seven spirits, seven spirits, seven spirits of the Lord. Flood this city, flood this nation, flood the earth, seven spirits of God. The fire, yes, miracles are happening. I sense it. The miracle fire of God is falling in this place. All across this airway, the seventh spirit of the Lord coming to your house, coming to your home. Miracles! Miracles! Be released across this airway. The seven spirits of the Lord. Be released in your home today, listening, watching audience. Seven spirits of the Lord. Be released over your nation, over your community, over your church. Seven spirits of the Lord. Be released over every apostle, every prophet, every pastor, every evangelist, every saint. Oh, every ministry that's lifting up the name of Jesus. Seven spirits of the Lord. We ask you to go forward with power and establish your kingdom. Establish your power. Yes, and your glory. Woo. My God, there's a wind of the glory of God. Oh, the glory of God is in this place. I feel it. Hallelujah. I feel the glory of God in a new way. Hallelujah. And I've never felt him before in this house. Receive him. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. The seven spirits of the Lord is here powerfully. Hallelujah. And miracles are happening in your body now. Miracles of healing. Miracles of deliverance. Miracles of refreshing. He is refreshing. My God, I feel it. I prophesy. Come on, worship him. Get in your heavenly language. Begin to worship. Oh, the spirit of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord. He's moving in his place. Hallelujah. I feel him in this place. Oh, there's oil in his fire. His oil and his power. Let the kingdom of God, oh, the kingdom of heaven is in here. Yes, 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 yes. You listening and watching the power of heaven is flooding your life. Reach your hand toward the screen. Healing is flowing into your body. Deliverance is coming to your mind. Satan, the Lord, rebukes you. I rebuke depression. I rebuke bipolar disorder. I rebuke satanic chains and yokes. I rebuke the power of hell. I rebuke the power of darkness. I rebuke the power of hell. 
I rebuke sickness, disease, and infirmity. I rebuke, hallelujah, darkness. I rebuke it now. I speak to your life. The fire of God. I speak in your life. The miracle of God. The miracle, 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 you won't be the same after today. Your home has changed. Your life has changed. The yoke is broken. The chains are broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Seven spirits of the Lord. Go with us this week. The seven spirits and the fire candlesticks of the Lord. Go with us this week. Go with us this year. Hallelujah. Go with us everywhere we go. Consume every demonic work. By every witchcraft. Every arrow of darkness. Every wicked assignment. Every time bomb of hell. Destroy it, spirit of the living God. The power of hell is broken. Jesus got the victory. We are victorious in him. Oh my God. Come on, prophesy now. I prophesy victory in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles. Supernatural turn around by the Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is going to do it. The Spirit of the Lord is doing it. Not by might, not by my power, not by yours, but by my Spirit, said the Lord. The Lord said, my Spirit is going to do it, man of God, woman of God, people of God. God said, my Spirit is going to do that miracle in your life. If you believe it right now, receive the miracle. Just by faith, receive it. Get those miracles on your mind. If it's a financial miracle is done in Jesus name the kingdom of heaven has come to you receive it now receive Jesus the king the kingdom of power the kingdom of glory the kingdom of miracles the kingdom of the supernatural the kingdom of angels he is the Lord of hosts he is the Lord of the host of angels hallelujah he's the Lord of power he's the Lord of strength he's the Lord of wealth there's no shortage in his kingdom heaven is loaded with goods it is loaded with benefits uh, waiting for the saints of God, waiting for the church of God. If you need a new heart, receive it. If you need a new kidney, receive it. If you need a new brain, receive it. If you need a new life, receive it. If you need a new life, receive it in Jesus' name. You need a brand new start, the kingdom of heaven. Jesus is Lord of that. He comes to bring you life. New life, a brand new life. Start over today with a brand new life. The Lord is healing joints right now. Hallelujah, I prophesy it. Wherever you have worn out joints in the knees and the hip, I declare healing now in Jesus' name by the power of the Holy Spirit. The spirits of the Lord, the seventh spirit of the Lord is creating new joints in your bodies. Hallelujah, in your ankles. Come on, move your ankles. In your knees, in your shoulders. Hallelujah, those who have stiffness, new joints. Hallelujah. Back pain is dissolving now in the name of Jesus. Migraine headaches are dissolving now in the name of Jesus. Our drug addiction is broken by the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is convicting. Hallelujah. He's breaking yokes and chains. He's breaking it, breaking it. Of your family. Your family is coming to salvation today. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is convicting them. They're coming to salvation today in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I prophesy. I prophesy pastor you won't give up and you won't lose that church hallelujah i prophesy to you minister you pastor you've been working and i speak to you right now you have who been believing the lord you've been waiting a financial miracle a tragedy struck your family the lord said his spirit is healing you now delivering you right now touching you right now hallelujah hallelujah your wife is coming back home hallelujah your children are being lost and wayward on the street are being clean from heroin and opioids and cocaine right now they're coming home hallelujah prescription drugs they're being delivered from right now i say it by the spirit of the living god the spirit of the lord is doing it not by man not by our power not by our strength wherever we've tried and failed jesus said his spirit is doing it now yeah financial situation is turning around right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the seven spirits of the Lord thank you Jesus mm. Revelation 4 and 6 and said before the throne there was a sea of glass let's get back to this as we close my God my God my God come on give Jesus praise Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's move quickly. 
And before the throne, Revelation 4 and 6, and before the throne there was a sea of glass like under crystal, and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind them. In the presence of heaven there is worship. Creatures are worshiping the Lord day and night. Day and night. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Verse 7, and the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf, and the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle, and the four beasts, and each of them had six wings about him. They were full of eyes wherein, within, and they rest not day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. I want to let you know the next point about the kingdom of heaven, it's full of worship. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, Man, you, cannot, you, you have to worship 24-7. Hallelujah. Angels are worshiping 24-7. Don't let the angels out beat us. Amen. Saints, we are the redeemed of the Lord. We humans are the redeemed. Jesus died for us. He didn't die for angels. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's why the angels Thank look you, at Jesus and say, What is man that thou art mindful Thank of him? Jesus. Yes. Why you would leave the portals of heaven, yes. come to an earth, Thank you, Lord. suffer as a human mm -hmm. to redeem you, you and I, Thank humans. You. Angels Thank and the created you. beasts are amazed. Yes. Hallelujah. We can't let them out worship us. Thank you, Jesus. We are to be worshipers. Yes, Worship Jesus. brings the kingdom of heaven into your life. Yes, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Worship brings the throne you, of God into your life. Amen. Worship Amen. lifts up Amen. the king of kings. Amen. Yes, Jesus. Like I taught last week, every kingdom must have worship. Amen. The king must be worshipped. He must be praised. He must be exalted. He must be given honor and reverence. Amen. I encourage every saint and every pastor, never let people worship you. Worship only belongs to Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, oh. Yes. Sadly, many leaders, men and women, boys and girls, allow people to worship them. It's very illegal. Mm -hmm. Worship mm -hmm. is only for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Can you be thankful? Yes, yes. you can be thankful yes. to Jesus. another person. Mm -hmm. You can appreciate them. You yeah. can respect them and honor them. But worship is only for a king. Honor says, I appreciate you for who you are, what yes. you've done. You could say that to another human. Mm -hmm. Worship is, you are wonderful. You are amazing. You mm -hmm. are glorious. I'm afraid of some of the titles Christian leaders are sometimes taking. Some of them are only for the Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that there for now. We are human beings. Whether you're an apostle, prophet, pastor, evangelist, teacher, yes, your ministry must respect you as you respect the people, but I am very careful as to take in the worship of God. The Bible said Jesus, Elohim, Adonai, is a jealous God. We read it earlier in Deuteronomy 10, eh? He's a jealous God. He will share his glory with no man. And you see why? He alone deserves the glory. Yes. He alone lives in the heavens. Amen. He alone is eternal. He alone made all things, heaven and an earth. Amen. He alone owns it all. Amen. Only him one is worthy of glory. Amen. How could a man want the glory of God? He didn't even play around with Lucifer. And he was close in the presence of the Lord. He was a high-ranking angel, and the Lord kicked him out, let Michael kick him out. You think the Lord is going to allow man to take his glory? That's why God hates pride. Pride says, I am something, and God says, you're not. I made you. I control your breath and your life, everything you have. Whether you save or sin, a God allowed it and gave it. Amen. He reigns on the just and the unjust. He raised the sun and the moon on every human being and all creation. Now, some people got their things through wicked means. He's not pleased with that. But the Lord could have stopped it. And he will bring judgment to them. Amen? Amen. God doesn't accept wickedness and sin. Never has and never will. Because he's holy. Yeah. Holy. Holy means pure, spotless, sanctified, set apart. He's strictly set apart. There's no sin in him. He cannot sin. Neither does he sin. Neither can he Encourage sin. So we who come into the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God must be holy. Yes. Holiness wherewith 
No man shall see the face of God. We have to be holy. Amen. Holy in thought. Holy in word. Holy in action. Holy in deed. Mm -hmm. We can never be holy on our own. That's why we need Jesus Christ as Lord. Yes. I don't care how, much, how many times the Muslim pray. They can never be holy. Only Jesus makes you holy. Because we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. So if you've never accepted Jesus Christ as Lord, how many times you pray, which is, it's good. How many, how many times you recite quotes, no matter how good you are in quotation in your community, with your family. If you didn't accept Jesus Christ as Lord, you could never qualify to be holy because you were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Your very nature is sin. Your thought, your action, your words and deeds are sinful and carnal. Only Jesus Christ, by dying on the cross, was able to take away that sin nature. Amen. So salvation is not about only living good. That's afterwards. The first thing is, Everyone have sinned, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Amen. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. If you don't accept Jesus Christ as the only Lord who could save you, redeem you, and deliver you, you are lost. You must, you and I must accept Jesus Christ as Lord as the one who would forgive us of sin and give us a new nature that is holy. After that, every day we have to walk out our holiness by obeying his word and applying his blood when we do violate his word. Every day. That's the only way we stay holy. And our holiness, no matter how much we try and attempt, is as filthy rags. Amen. Because we cannot be holy. Only our holiness comes through Jesus Christ. Amen. Him living in us. And him living in us comes what? The seven Holy Spirits of God. Comes the nature of Jesus Christ and his throne and his rulership in our life. That's the only way we are holy. Not because of what we do and what we don't do. It's because Jesus is in us. That's what Hallows be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It means as it is in heaven, so let it be in the earth. We're praying for that to come and invade the earth. We're going to continue the kingdom of heaven in our next session. But I want us to pray. Let's begin to worship the Lord. Father, we worship you because you are Lord in heaven and you are Lord of the earth. Your name is Jesus. You sit on the throne. We release, we loose the kingdom of heaven and the seven spirits of the Lord upon our lives, upon our home, upon our ministry, upon this broadcast, everyone listening and watching. Let your glory fill this place. Let your honor fill this place. You alone deserve the honor. Lord, let your kingdom and the kingdom of heaven invade, take over the territory of our lives, of the earth, of everything in it, Lord. Of every person, lift up your hands and receive the kingdom of power. Come on, pray, 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 pray in the Holy Spirit. If you're being baptized in the Holy Spirit, begin to pray in tongues. If you're not, I ask the Spirit of the Lord to fill you with the evidence of praying and speaking in tongues, that you have a spirit-filled life, that the spirit of the Lord rules and reigns on your hearts and mind today. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord bless your coming out and your going in. May the Lord preserve you, not only this day, but this day forward and evermore. May the enemies of the Lord and your enemies be bound and cast into the pit never to return. The enemies you see, you shall see no more. No weapon form against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, we condemn. We go forth this week to conquer, to possess, and to bring the kingdom of heaven everywhere we go. In Jesus' name, God bless you and keep you now. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand. Come on, pray. You were listening to Kingdom Come Now broadcast, brought to you by Kingdom Apostolic Ministries International, where the leaders are Apostle and Prophets, Dr. Kilafo Kali, MD, and Shalewa Kali. If this message was a blessing to you, or you would like to partner with us and make a donation, contact us at telephone 1-242-352-2130. 
or email us at kamgbahamas at gmail.com. Visit our website at www.kamgbahamas.com. We are located at Nios Grace Center, West Atlantic Drive, Freeport, Bahamas. Be blessed and join us again soon for another Kingdom Come Now broadcast.